Hello everybody, today I want to take the opportunity and reflect a little bit on the project we did in Body Shop uh, just recently while we were replacing the uh, former very old web conveyor which was, was about more than 30 years old giving a lot of headaches and downtimes to the plant and getting a quite brand new electro monorail system into the plant uh, supported by our partner ICEMI out of uh, Valencia in Europe. Well, let me reflect a little bit back on how it happened and how we got there. Basically, in September 2015, I asked our partner ICEMI to come down here for me to have a quick survey on, on what it would take to um, take a system like the web out and get a new system in, but this is all under production circumstances and considering probably a, a four weeks shutdown window, which we usually only have to do it. They, they came and came back with some concepts and proposals, but uh, it went quite well, quite some time, until I had to recall them in April 2016 and doing a more detailed study. This obviously has got a lot of attention in the plan and the plan leadership and the interest and in seeing that this is such a kind of system can do a great favor for them in the future. So the, the whole team came together and finally in August 2016 the leadership team decided as the funds were generated to, to go forward with a system like this. Ford then generated an order to ICEMI in the beginning of September from when all the project got started with design, design reviews. Following the installation phase three weeks later, every day after production hours and night shift, they were working until it came to a breakdown and the entire breakdown was captured within a 24 seven scheme just to make it work and realize it. And what we see in the backside of us is what we have to be. A system that is 90% installed, finished, mainly some undergrading work left to do. But from my career experience and working for about 10 years in planning body shops, this was a fantastic project. Enormous challenge to everybody, specifically in terms of timing and the environment they have to work in during night and on the, on the shutdown. So all I can say, it is a great thanks to everybody, a great thanks to the whole body shop team, because without having all the body shop people being dedicated to this project, supporting every minute, this would have not happened. But definitely as well, great thanks to our supplier. Coming to South Africa in an environment they have not been worked in before, a lot of challenges came across them, a lot of cultural challenges, people challenges, which we had, glitches here and there. But finally, 9th of January, the system was ready to support production. It's fantastic, and that's all I want to say. Thank you to everybody.